Good morning, I'm Dr. Soham Basak. I practice at uh, Dishai Hospitals in Kolkata, India. So I'm mainly a cornea consultant and my interests are also in eye banking and a bit of cataract surgery. So the thing is, regraft as we know is actually a com very pretty common indication for doing keratoplasties all over the world. So, but in our practice, we see a lot of infectious keratitis. So I wanted to know how that is impacting the in, uh, indications of corneal regrafts in our practice. So that's why, and there are no really big research data from India. So I wanted, wanted to see how it's different from the rest of the world. So the key findings are this is actually a five years data. So we have compiled around 5,600 keratoplasties and about 1,014 of them were regraft. So that's about 17%. So that's pretty standard if you compare with the rest of the world, but the indications for that is pretty different. In all over the world, most of it, maybe 80 to 90% is because of a delayed failure due to endothelial cell loss. Whereas in our series, most of it is around in and based in and around infectious keratitis. About 33% are basically graft infections, and then we have to salvage the eye, do a therapeutic keratoplasty. And again, another one third is basically, since we have a lot of infections, we do a lot of therapeutic keratoplasty, so we have to visually rehabilitate these patients. So another one third is basically for failed therapeutic keratoplasty and a visual rehab for them in terms of maybe a, uh, also combined with a cataract triple procedure. So next step would logically would be to identify the key risk factors that we are having. Maybe we are going wrong somewhere, maybe more patient education is required, and maybe find out trying to reduce the amount of infections that we are having. I mean, some of it is probably preventable, but we'll try, we'll see about that. Oh, I mean, Barcelona is a beautiful city, yes. And among the key highlights, I would again talk more about cornea perspective. So the cell, cell treatment, cellular treatment for endothelial keratoplasty is really coming along great. And there are like every, every conference they bring out new findings for that. So I'm really looking forward to where that is headed. And now the new rage in everything is basically deep learning and AI. So there is so there's definitely a lot of scope in cornea. So I was just brainstorming with friends of mine regarding how to put that to use in terms of infections also.